I waited a little bit. That's one thing I would change. I, I don't even remember how many steps I took back the whole fight. Somebody need to get that stat. How many steps back I took, because I was on his ass the whole time. So everybody asking me about this tattoo. I'm trying to bring the question up. Nah, he made another bet. He said, all right, but well, well, if you get the tattoo, then we run it back. I said, bet. What tattoo mommy at? One, I don't even know her. I wasn't really keen on having her touch me. I got my own people that, that can tap me up, so I don't know who she is, why I flew her out for nothing. I think he's just kind of, somebody got in there, man, just take it and run it, man. You didn't win the fight, man. They said you won. Don't get back in there with him because I'm the type of that if you let me get another time to fight you and I get a chance to break you down, there's problems. The original bet was the loser gets the tattoo. A new bet was presented that, in my opinion, superseded the previous bet. This will end up being a trilogy. I'm going to come up. He's going to want to do it again, and we're going to do it again. And it's going to literally be a whole movie that people will talk about for a very long time. So I'm excited about the rematch. Man, my shoulders are sort of swinging like a motherfucker. The tattoo was a bet before this fight, yes. but he fucked he up. He's saying, oh, I'll get it once you sign the contract. No, you fucked up. Just get the tattoo and let me decide from there. But I think it's on to bigger and better things. Tyron, it's over. Jake Paul's moving on. He's not going to take the rematch. You didn't get the tattoo like you agreed you would. The bet was before the fight, and we all witnessed it. That even Tyron Woodley acknowledged happened where the loser was going to get a tattoo of the other fighter's choosing. Tyron Woodley lost, but after the fight, Tyron now believes that, that Tyron's going to have to get a tattoo in order to get the rematch. The way it sounds like to me is there is no superseding. It sounds like Jake Paul wants Tyron to get two tattoos of him. Tattoo because he lost, and now another tattoo for the rematch. That that's what it seems like to me because Jake Paul wants to create viral moments. If Tyron Woodley got the tattoo and got it live and made it public, it would have been kind of viral. A lot of people, especially Jake Paul fans and people who aren't really into the whole combat sports scene, if they saw Tyron Woodley actually abide by the gentleman's agreement, took the bet to heart and got that tattoo, fans would have probably have did exactly what Jake Paul said. They probably would have told Jake, hey man, you gotta take the fight. He got the tattoo. You guys agreed on it? Take the rematch. The fact that Tyron is now trying to strong arm Jake Paul, who's the A side in this fight, crazy to think that a B side fighter is trying to leverage the A side fighter. That's never going to work. You're only going to drive them away, and now they have other options while you really don't have much. Tyron is trying to say, A, hey, sign the contract, and I'll get the tattoo. We all know how that goes. We've all been in high school. Tyron needs to get the tattoo. As embarrassing as it is, he took the bet and he shook hands. In fact, he should be getting two tattoos of Jake Paul right now. And he even mentioned that a tattoo artist got flown out to him. It seems like Jake Paul flew out a tattoo artist to get to work. And Tyron didn't want it to happen. Now, I understand the whole safety issue with that. But the message was there. Jake told Tyron, hey, I'm sending my girl. She's going to give you the tattoo. And Tyron's like, no, I got my own guy. It seems like he's just trying to deflect everything. He's trying to push everything back and try to stride along as much as possible before he hits that wall where he has to take the bet. And honestly, the most embarrassing thing about it is not because Tyron lost to a YouTuber due to the plague of issues that he's had his entire MMA career in activity, not throwing punches, not making things happen when they should, but he's constantly bringing this up jake is not bringing up a rematch of tyron woodley he's not chasing this fight tyron's been chasing this fight ever since they read the scorecards that night jake paul is putting tyron in a position where it's making it look like tyron has to beg his way into a rematch and it is a bit uncomfortable to watch the frustrating part about all of it is how tyron is handling this whole thing he's now creating goals for the rematch he's like saying like it's going to happen for sure hey man when a rematch happens this is what i'm going to do different i'm going to go at him i was reacting too much i was sitting back too much he's going to want the rematch it's going to be a movie people are going to remember this forever it's going to be legendary and it sounds funny to say that a former ufc champion one of the greatest welterweights in ufc history a credentialed college wrestler is saying that he's going to create a legendary boxing trilogy with a youtuber but we all know what the real reason is tyron is chasing the money he saw the contract he saw what he was going to make i don't know when he's going to get the money but amen millions of dollars is much more than he's ever made in any ufc fight before and that seems to be a whole issue going on in the mma news right now you know the whole thing with travis brown and him talking about fighter pay and saying that ufc fighters are whining and all this stuff but you got guys like tyron woodley who has to go into a boxing match to make the money that he is deserved tyron woodley deserves a lot of money out of fighting he's one of the greatest welterweights of all time despite how a lot of people feel about the guy he's done great things in the octagon and he's actually made very good money in MMA, but he deserved much, much more. The amount of money he made against Jake Paul was the correct money that he should have been making as a champion in the UFC. If not, even more, because it's more prestigious. This is just a celebrity boxing fight. So, of course, in that hand, we can see that he's going to be chasing a rematch with Jake Paul to make that money again. Honestly speaking, there's not a lot of other guys he's going to be able to make that kind of money against. Jake Paul has a following that's outside of the combat sports world. Tyron Woodley is 
deep inside of the combat sports world, not a lot of guys in this space is going to be able to give them that kind of attention, as sad as that is. Now, we don't know the exact number for the pay-per-view buys, but if Jake is telling the truth that his fight with Ben Askren drew 1.3 million buys, and there's some other rumors going around that are saying it was 1.5 million buys, you would have to think that the fight with Tyron really must have been bigger. Because Tyron is even saying that it was one of the biggest pay-per-views of the entire year. I think he said number two or number three. And we do know that Conor McGregor fought against Dustin Poirier. So if it actually drew that much, it looks like from different parties, multiple times more than any fight Tyron's ever been a part of. You can't really knock Tyron too much for trying to get this rematch. But man, you gotta get the tattoo. Him waiting too long may have just driven Jake Paul away. Jake is saying he's on to bigger and better things. If Tyron's able to generate enough attention around this tattoo thing and get the fans involved and make something viral out of all this, he's gonna get Jake's attention. Because you have to remember, Jake is a longtime YouTuber. He's a longtime content creator online before he ever did any of this boxing stuff. And that's what draws his interest. If there's a lot of people who want it and there's a lot of money to make out of it, Jake Paul is gonna dive right into it. So Tyron is trying to make a big thing out of this. He's trying to garner some attention, but the problem is nobody wants to see it. Tyron let all of us down in that first fight, and there's no reason why we should trust him again for the 50th time. I don't know a single soul, and there's a lot of people who love these kind of fights. I haven't seen one person watch that fight and say, Huh, I cannot wait to pay another 60 bucks to see the same exact fight again. Not one person. And Tyron's talking about that in the rematch. He's going to go for the kill. Get the knockout. He's going to get in his face. He's going to make it a lot better. You give me a second fight, there's going to be problems. That's never worked before. He's had rematches in the past and the fights pretty much went the same way. I mean, Jake Paul went to the extent of having his guys go after Tyron Woodley's mom. And that was enough to push him. He literally said that he wanted to grab Tyron's cheeks. I mean, what would Jake have to do to get the chosen one to show up? This same talk is not going to get any fans to be more excited about this. Tyron has promised us this for years, and it just does not show up. People have paid a lot of money to see that version of Tyron Woodley, and the guy fight after fight does not show up the way he says he will. So why would they want to buy another fight with Jake Paul, which he lost, it's a fight against a YouTuber, and it's a fight that Tyron Woodley should win in order to get the same product they paid for last time. Why buy the same pair of shoes twice? I understand some people will say, oh, but they're different colors, but the difference is, in this analogy, it's the same color. It really makes no sense, and Tyron has even gone as far to say that he won the fight. How? There's no way he actually believes that. He said he walked forward more. I've never heard a fighter ever say, I should have won the fight because I walked more than my opponent. What does that mean? Tyron didn't throw any punches. This game is about causing damage and not getting damaged. For the majority of the rounds, because of the way boxing is judged, most of the rounds was Jake Paul landing more punches on Tyron Woodley. That's the name of the game. You cannot expect to win because you move forward more than your opponent. That makes no sense. In fact, that just shows how inactive you were. If you were the one moving forward the whole fight, and you weren't able to let your punches count, and your opponent isn't necessarily countering that well, you have yourself to blame for that loss. It's not that the judges got it wrong, and it's not that the fans and other fighters are seeing it wrong as well, because frankly, everyone feels the same way. Everyone was super frustrated at that fight, watching Woodley having success and then letting off the gas time after time. There's a lot of delusion around this. So all I have to say is, all power to Tyron Woodley, if he's able to get this rematch, if he's able to actually gather some attention somehow, just save yourself some integrity, you know? Because that's what matters at the end of the day.